Sunbowl week continues today. Both teams are now in the Sun City. Yeah, the Arizona State Sun Devils landed in El Paso late this morning, and ABC 7's Andrew J. Polk is live from the airport where they just arrived. Andrew. Yeah, good afternoon, Denise and Stephanie. We're here at the El Paso International Airport where things are kind of quiet right now, but that wasn't the case just minutes ago as hundreds of people were here, including the team, to be able to greet them coming to El Paso. Now, excited fans cheered as the Sun Devils came down the escalator, greeted by fans with signs, mariachis, and music, the Amigo Man and Folklorico dancers, as well as historic reenactors from the Mission Trail Association. They were also officially greeted by Mayor Oscar and the Sun Bowl Association. Folklorico dancers performed with with mariachis and got the coach and players to dance as well here in the atrium. Coach Togram said the team was grateful for the very warm welcome. Just an incredible welcome. That's the best welcome. I've been to a lot of bowl games over 28 years of coaching and best welcome we've had. And But it doesn't surprise me one bit uh, being in this state and being in, here in the city of El Paso. So we're excited and we're bringing a team that has great character and big heart as well. So I think uh, the fans here in El Paso will be excited to watch them play. We're looking forward to spending Christmas with you. So if you still want to get in the Sun Bowl spirit, there's a big list of things to take in leading up to Saturday, including the Sun Bowl Golf Challenge, the Fan Fiesta the night before the game, and leading right up to the game, the third annual Sun Bowl Sky Party as well. We've got the full list of events going on under the links mentioned section of our homepage, KVIA.com. So back out here live right now. Again, the team is here. They've made off on the buses to go to their hotel and to get ready to practice and prepare for Saturday's game. So reporting live from the El Paso International Airport, Andrew J. Polk, ABC7. All right, thank you for that, Andrew. And it was a similar.